hello family nana here thank you guys for coming back in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can take care of your hair during the winter period if you have extreme winters like mine and if you are in africa that has the hamatan period so in this video i'm going to give you step by step diys that you can use to strengthen your hair during this period and to prevent breakage Start off, guys. We're gonna do um, a shampoo. The first ingredient is um, Aritia or soap knot, so which is an amazing natural shampoo. It greatly reduces shedding and tame dry hair. It also helps to detangle your hair, and it makes your hair super shiny because it has a lot of vitamins. And then I'm also going to be adding our almighty fenugreek, which helps for hair loss. It's been used over the years to fight hair loss. So what you need to do is just to pour, put both of your ingredients into boiling water and stir properly guys so that it does not give you balls. So stir both um, ingredients together for a while and then you allow them to boil for about 30 minutes, 20, sorry guys, 15 minutes and then it's already ready. So guys, this um, recipe that I'm showing you is kind of like a, of a wash day of what I do to my hair during the winter. So each year I do, um, I might do something new. It just depends. But this is what I've been using. I've used this, I think, conse consecutively. All these recipes that I'm showing you consecutively for about three winters now. This should be the third winter that I am using this on my own hair guys okay i have a total different rest regimen for my children but this what i am showing you now is what i use so once this is uh 15 minutes is, uh, when once 15 minutes are over you want to turn off your stove and let it cool off under your string okay guys so these recipes will help you guys to really really protect your hair up against these severe cold weathers that we have like like mine here it's super cold and um, in the if you're in, in Asia like I said America Canada and even in Africa when we have that our super hammer and dry season this regimen will help you to protect your hair against the harsh elements of the weather right guys so you want to pour your shampoo in a in a container and then you have to add an oil to it so that it doesn't really dry your hair and you go and wash your hair with it so if you have if you have too much oil on your hair you want to add some shampoo a shampoo of your choice so this is my DIY oil that I did it's on the channel if you if you're interested I will link it down below if you're interested you go check it out and um, yeah, the shampoo is already ready to wash your hair, guys. So if you have problems like dandruff, like um, you've been suffering with dandruff, you've been suffering with alopecia, your hair breaks, you have a lot of sheddings, guys, these recipes are amazing. They're amazing because they strengthen your hair, they stop breakage like, like in no time, guys, and they reduce sheddings. Because even um, this soap knot, it helps to reduce split ends. And then fenugreek on the other hand, guys, is an amazing seed that you have to have in your house. Because it contains a lot of potassium and calcium, iron, all those things that our natural hair really needs to grow. That is why it is, um, um, well, that is why it is referred to as the mother of all seeds. Right, guys? So as I was saying, guys. Concentrate on these natural remedies if you're fighting with breakage, split ends, dandruff, and if your hair is not growing, you have alopecia. Take off time, guys, six months to one year. Concentrate on these natural remedies. Don't go for store bought uh, um, products. I'm not saying that they don't work, but I'm saying that natural works better. Before, when you solve all your problems, then you can go back to your store board ingredients. I tell you, they do work. They actually work if you give yourself some time. Right, guys? So, apply the, the shampoo to your scalp and just massage it for about 15 minutes. Take your time, 15 to 30 minutes, and then you go rinse your hair off. Right, guys? Thereafter, we're going to do a, 
a conditional that we're going to use rice we all know how powerful rice is it contains a lot of proteins that will help your hair then i'm using aloe vera uh, powder because during the winter i don't um i don't like to stress my aloe vera so i just allow it to breathe because it the winter is really harsh although it is inside the um a greenhouse and then i'm also going to be adding some natural honey which is it contains both uh emollient and humidant properties that will make our hair soft and shiny and um the the bond the humidant properties bond with water to add super moisture to our dry strands then i'm also going to add my apple cider vinegar i add just a little bit in one cup and then i will top it up I top up the, uh, with some water and then it, it makes one cup okay guys so i think it's one part of one part of, of apple cider vinegar and two parts of water okay guys or one part of apple cider vinegar and three parts of water then you want to add the rice so i didn't really measure my rice but i want to guess that that is like a cup of rice that i put in there and then I will pour in my aloe vera, as I said, for moisture. That's why I'm using it to fight scab infections and all that. And then and gain your uh, honey, which will help you to lock in, shine, restore natural luster to your hair. Okay, guys. After blending, and then I will add my DIY oil again. As I told you, you can add any other oil of your choice. And then I blend again and then this is how it is so at this stage guys you will need to strain if your blender does not blend well then mine is mine really blends okay so I don't need to strain and then you go and apply it to your hair right guys so this is really how simple they are guys a complete wash day that you can do in no time with strengthening that will keep your hair super moisturized healthy and well protected okay you do not need much so this is me showing you my hair after i rinse the shampoo from my hair okay guys now i'm going to apply the conditioner that is con the conditioner that is how my hair already feels guys you can see with your eyes that it's already soft and looks already moisturized then I'm just going to add my conditioner for amazing softness and uh, shine. Okay, guys, so that is what you need to do. Apply the conditioner from your scalp to your hair and just work it in. Just work it in, okay, guys. So, like I was saying, I have. I have been using rice a lot. I love it, guys. I love it. Our hair just love rice, and um, and um, fenugreek, and also and also moringa. It's been really working wonders on our hair. So I really love to use it, especially during the winter. I use rice mostly in the winter, guys, because it really helps me to add strength and protect my hair, as I say. So just apply it to your scalp and to your strands and be generous guys. Just saturate your hair. If you have leftover, because I do, I, I had leftover as well. You just pop that in the freezer and leave it there until your next wash day. So that the next time you want to use it, you don't have to go uh, and start making all these things again. You can just make them to use them for two wash days like you put them in the freezer everything just pop everything in the freezer and leave it there until one week after or two weeks after or a month after if you wash your hair once a month i wash my hair twice a month so i just keep the other part and two weeks later i'm still gonna use them they're still gonna come out very nice and they will still have the same effect like the first one okay guys so now i just wrap my hair in a plastic bag and i'm going and I leave it there for one or two hours and I go wash my hair so guys unfortunately I don't show you guys how I wrap how I wash my hair and all that because I'm that person that does not wash the hair in the sink in the shower sorry I use the sink 
because water always gets into my ears so the next is we're going to be using time to make a living time helps to fight so uh, stimulate blood to use car with fights dandruff and then I'm using green tea this is um, Mika Mika green tea but you can use any other one that you have using clove as well to fight dandruff increase your hair growth so what you need to do is very simple just um, add all of those ingredients into boiling water and then you mix allow it to boil for some time like 15 to 20 minutes and then you are good to go guys so allow it to boil and then you are good to go your living is already is ready you can use this as a living or as a rinse out say like you apply it on your hair massage it leaving leave it in your hair for about 15 to 30 minutes and then you rinse it off okay guys then I, uh, I discovered it was too thick, so I decided to add some more water. And then after it cools up, I'm just going to strain and put it in my spray bottle. Okay, guys. So that's how it's looking, guys. It looks very greenish because of the, of the Japanese green tea, guys. I do not know how to say that word. Is this much Micha or it's matcha Japanese green tea. But you can use any other green tea that you have. So you just pour that and it's amazing. Green tea helps to reduce shedding. It fights against breakage as well as stops breakage. And they gain your clove or so. And your time that is going to stimulate blood to your scalp. You just apply to your scalp massage it and to your hair as well so guys we're going to keep that aside and go and do the next one which is our um oil i'm going so for the oil we're going to be doing using moringa which is super amazing for hair growth it tickles your hair chebe which um helps to make to grow hair faster fights scabs infection tickles your hair and of course, I'm going to also be adding my arm, my amla that I love so much. It, it makes your hair to grow faster. It fights scabs, infection. It stops breakage and all those good stuff, guys. So you want to add your amla. All of those are um, um, two tablespoons each, guys, of those ingredients. Then you go ahead and add your oil. Um, the oil base i'm using extra virgin olive oil a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil then the, another cup i'm gonna add um extra um avocado oil virgin avocado oil so guys you use your own oils as usual guys these are oils for high porosity these are oils that penetrate the scalp and keep um your strands protected and healthy right guys so use what you have use the oil that your hair love not what you have but what your hair love okay but because you can have coconut oil in the house but coconut oil is allergic to your hair be careful guys some people are allergic to coconut oil like me if you use coconut oil on your hair and you discover that your hair is super hard it's brittle it's like sponge just you might be allergic to coconut oil because that's what happens to my hair even though we are high porosity hair even though I have high porosity hair and coconut oil has a lot of protein which is supposed to be good for high porosity hair but it makes my hair super dry and um, crunchy like <laughs> like chips guys so I don't use it all three of us me and my girls that's exactly what it does for our hair so we don't use it so that's why I always say you have to learn to listen to your hair when it's talking to you so put your oil in a double boiler method leave it to sit on that under water for hot water not boiling water guys hot water for about 30 minutes and your oil will be ready then you want to bring it and and you want to bring it and sift it then your oil is already ready for use 
so guys this is a super super long video but i think it's very important if you have been enjoying the video up to this level please 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 share our videos to your friends and family and subscribe give us a thumbs up if you've not yet subscribed if you're just passing for the first time or this is the first time you're watching my video please subscribe and I really hope that this video is going to help you if you're searching for something for if you're searching for a solution to your hair problem I think you're in the right place just scroll down and check our playlist we have amazing DIYs and I've classified them in every category so it's easy for you to check what you are looking for pick one pick two or three or four of our ingredients and try them for your hair and I bet you you will come back for more thank you so much for watching if you're just stopping by so guys now i strained and then i'm adding it i added into my application but now i'm adding uh, my just some fuel uh, lavender and rosemary oil just for scent if you do not have this just leave them alone guys it's not composure if you do add them I'm also add, adding peppermint oil you guys already know how much i love peppermint oil because of the thingly situation that it does on your hair so you want to close that and then shake it up and your oil is already ready very simple with simple ingredients the only difficult and expensive ingredient in this oil is the chebe powder if you've bought chebe before you know that it's, a, it's an, uh, an expensive powder so that's the only difficult and expensive so these are uh, these are uh, the oils and the uh, living that we just did and then i also have my um, blue magic for sealing so i'm just showing you how i use it i apply to my scalp so i apply just a little bit guys because when i put a lot of oil on my scalp my scalp itches so much so a little goes a long way on my scalp. That is what I have noticed. Then I will put that much and I massage in my on my scalp. I just massage. So I just put a little on my fingertips, guys, and I just massage my scalp with it. That's what I always do. I don't put so much oil on my scalp. Unlike my girls, my girls scalp require a lot of oil when i put a bit of oil on their scalp i discover that the scalp instead stays it turns out dry but when i put oil like every day their scalp is super moisturized and stays healthy mine i can go for three four days before i put oil i put oil every day my scalp starts itching like crazy so now i'm just going to moisturize i'm adding I'm adding the leave-in conditioner and then I just work it in my hair and then I run a white tooth comb I run a white tooth comb So guys, another thing that I used to do is that I comb my hair. During my wash day, I comb my hair twice. Once when I'm detangling and once when I'm moisturizing like this. So with the white to comb and that's all. Then I, I go in now, I see with the blue magic. Guys, that is what I've discovered since I did the video on, on old school. I am stuck with blue magic, guys. <laughs> I'm going to use this for a long time. I am going to be using it for a long time, guys. I'm not going... Blue Magic is not leaving my cabinet any longer. It's one of our staples right now. We are not, we are not letting it go. So... And then I just twist my hair, guys. And then I will do the same thing for all of my hair. And that is the end. I will repeat this same process in two weeks. Until winter is over. So this same thing that I showed you guys, I will do the same process again in two weeks until I will change when winter is over. So guys, that is it. As usual, thank you for watching. Make good decisions. I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Please subscribe and share.